Right now in this week's extreme cold, an urgent frostbite danger warning from doctors and nurses. Joining us now is Melissa Kirsten from Ascension Columbia St. Mary. She's an expert in burned and wound care. So when we talk about it being so cold and getting dangerous so fast, what are the signs of frostbite? So when you are first outside, you notice the frostbite, your fingers start to become, you almost feel clumsy. Your fingers start to turn maybe whiter, paler, um, and then red sometimes. Um, and then a late sign of frostbite would be blisters that start to develop on your fingers um, or even your ears, your nose, your cheeks, or your toes. How do you know when you're able to treat yourself at home versus when you should go see a doctor? So if you, so we recommend first aid treatment of just like room temperature water called tepid water um, for about 15 minutes. If you find that your fingers don't seem to be improving, you're not finding relief from of your symptoms, that cold pain, um, you start to develop blisters. Anytime you develop a blister on your skin from being after being outside, you should seek medical attention most definitely. Okay, and what kind of injuries are you seeing right now at the hospital? Um, we're seeing frostbite injuries of fingers and toes mainly, um, both in our inpatient setting uh, in the hospitals and also in our burn clinic as well. With this being such an issue, it's going to be cold all week. How can people protect themselves? Keeping your skin covered. Anytime you're going outside, making sure that you're covering as much of your skin as possible. Gloves, hat that covers all parts of your ear, um, a scarf or something to cover your face, shoes that fit properly that aren't too constrictive, warm socks are really important. Something synthetic materials are usually better than cotton. All right, thank you so much for your time. Melissa, we appreciate it and the advice too to keep people safe.